In today's video, we have some exciting news for all you Samsung fans. It looks like the highly anticipated One UI 7.0 beta release is just around the corner, and there are some major changes coming your way. Let's dive right into the details. If you've been keeping up with Samsung's updates, you probably know that the One UI 7.0 beta was initially expected to drop in late July 2024. However, it was delayed. Why, you ask? Well, according to reports, Samsung decided to take a bit more time to work on the software. They wanted to fix some bugs and ensure a smoother user experience before rolling it out. But now, it looks like we're finally close to seeing the beta release. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Samsung has just released an update to their Samsung Members app. If you're not familiar with the app, it's essential for anyone wanting to enroll in the One UI beta program. The fact that it's been updated is a clear sign that the One UI 7.0 beta is almost ready to go live. So what's in the update? Version 5.100.11 of the Samsung Members app is now available for download on the Galaxy Store. It's currently rolling out in India, South Korea, and the USA, and the download size is around 39.30 megabytes. While the official changelog doesn't say much, we know this update is likely a pre-launch update ahead of the One UI 7.0 beta. This means Samsung is preparing to open up the program for users to start testing the new software soon. Now that the beta release is on the horizon, what can we expect from the One UI 7.0 update? First off, it's based on Android 15, which already tells us that some big improvements are in store. According to leaks, One UI 7.0 will feature a significant UI design overhaul. Samsung is going all in with fresh stock app iconography and a revamped interface. One of the most noticeable changes could be the new two-page quick panel layout, which makes it easier to access more features without cluttering your screen. We're also expecting improved stock apps, smoother animations, and transitions that make the user experience feel much more polished. Everything from opening apps to scrolling through menus should feel more fluid. But that's not all. There are a few other notable additions coming with One UI 7.0. You can expect a new control area at the bottom of the screen, which could make it easier to manage ongoing tasks. There's also mention of a pill-shaped UI for ongoing activities, which might change how notifications and tasks are displayed. In terms of visual changes, Samsung is also introducing a new battery icon and a sleek charging animation that gives the phone a more modern touch. These small details can really enhance the look and feel of the interface, making it feel fresh and exciting. One of the most anticipated changes is the rumored revamped camera app. Samsung is said to be optimizing the camera interface for one-handed usage. This is a big deal, especially for those of us who use large devices like the Galaxy S series or the Z Fold. With this update, snapping a quick photo or adjusting settings with one hand should become much more convenient. One UI 7.0 will also bring more customization to your home and lock screens. Expect to see more widgets available, giving you more control over how you interact with your phone. There's also going to be a large folder option, which should make organizing your apps a lot easier. And if you're someone who enjoys unlocking your phone with a little flair, Samsung is also adding a new unlock animation. These new animations might seem like minor changes, but they really help the overall experience feel smoother and more refined. Camera functionality and more customization options for your home and lock screens. This is shaping up to be one of the most exciting updates from Samsung yet. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, see you in the next video. Hey, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. 
the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6 overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.